Hello everybody, welcome back to some control, picking up where we left off, we're head back into the Panopticon uh, to deal with the fridge and head into the other the other room that's up here. Uh, we also have the Panopticon was pretty big so it wouldn't surprise me if I haven't fully explored it but at the same time, I don't know how much. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to explore. Nothing there, nothing there. See, already partly explored. Yeah, I know that we went under here. It's an elevator. Also a type of elevator, but not a type of use. We have another room over there that we can probably get. Oh nice, I got them both. But I saw that, which means that there's a... I saw the little plus sign, which means that there's one of those orbs around. Although, granted, if there's only no, and I do believe it's below us. And there's some other force that's back in. Great. Get them, more guys up above. Got you both. Oh, that wasn't all of them. Oh, well, who are you guys going to fight? Doesn't seem to be anyone, but the music hasn't stopped and she hasn't gone away at somebody with a grenade. Uh, but I didn't even see the explosion, so I don't even know what. I mean, maybe they're up above? Well, whatever. Let's continue exploring. Nope. Not going to be okay for that one. I don't know what that one is. A uh, fan. I don't remember what that one did. A hammer, which I do believe is diseased for some reason. somebody thought hammer let's make it special ability of this okay so I still don't know what's over there oh my god are you fucking kidding me Really? Way too many enemies in this game. Or not enough limits on the spawn of said enemies. I'm kidding, I gotta go through all my shit again. Should have done that before I started this recording, but. killing and spawns in more enemies, because why wouldn't it? You know, I just wanted to come out here and float over there. 
No. I was gonna complain that they put a limit on this, but no, it does make sense, unfortunately. Oh no, if I go into here, I can see that. Okay. Uh, so now you do have better accuracy on. You know what? Let's just get rid of anything that isn't level 5, shall we? There's no point anymore, we're getting a lot of level 5 stuff, so there's no point in us not just saving the space for level 5 stuff. And since we're here, we may as well check this, and we'll do the same. There isn't level 5, it can fuck off. And then I can have it a lot easier. There we go. Lots of space. Now, go that way, and then that's the elevator, so that path we got to. Fortified Unit 700. Now, can I... Well, shit. Ain't that... Well, that sucks. Alright, now then. How to get back. I guess I can probably chill on the wall. Yeah. Okay, so that's floor one. Archives are that way, which we haven't been to. Oh, floor two. Man, the floors are really big, aren't they? I'll try to get five and six. Here. No. I kind of wish that you had momentum while you, uh, <laughs> levitated, but, I don't know, maybe they, eh, I guess it doesn't make too much sense to have momentum while you levitate. Also, I see a small Christmas tree here, and I do not remember, I don't think we've got a file on that one yet. Carriage. I think we actually may have had that one. That's just completely blocked off, so that might be a really bad one. What was that one? The globe, eh? Okay. Uh, no. I, I thought for a second I may have gotten the globe, but that wasn't so. But anyway, I guess we'll head into the archives before we... I guess we'll explore the archives before we go into the... deal with the save the agent and deal with the bridge. Man, I wonder if any of these are bad guys. Yeah, 
they can't come into this room. Right, I I forgot about that. That you can cheese the enemies in this game. Because they can't leave the area that they spawn in, I do believe. And like that I can't remember the one thing I do believe. Oh, goody, it's these. Excuse me, there is a message for you. That's a good thing to be loose in the archives. Uh, oh, right, because I cleared the anchor. Blackrock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. A trotman style anchor made of iron with a wooden stalk surfaces rusted in places, weighs about 4,000 pounds. The item generates a persistent black blank sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. The sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically redacted horizontal feet and redacted vertical feet from the redacted of the anchor. Uh, redacted Ranger First Class was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at Redacted AM Eastern. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, Redacted's oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during Redacted's entry into the sphere experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails. Okay. Within an hour of one another, Ranger Redacted has been declared MIA presumed dead. Well, yeah, I would assume so. Uh, Philip, unless you hooked me right away, it began with visceral dismemberment scenes and uh, this great unsettling vibe created by the unexplained creature they named The Fix. As an avid horror fan, I loved how this, how this story veered from the genre conventions into something a little more, for lack of a better word, weird. Everything felt familiar, but just a little off. The characters will even comment on it, saying how their lives felt out of control, as if they were just programmed to perform the same empty actions over and over, very meta. I love the way they left the ending wide open. What happened to the guy ordered to watch those monitors for the rest of his life? Did the fix get him? Is he dead? Did he end up in the parallel reality with the others? We don't know, and that's okay. All in all, an interesting read. I'll give it a solid 4 out of 5 points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? But I guess I shouldn't demand too much realism from a work of fiction. I mean, when somebody's your boss, right, you're used to listening to them. Oops. And in a situation, if you don't have any more of an idea of what's going on than he does, then in reality, there would be very little reason to, you know, not follow him. I mean, like, if I ended up in, like, a horror movie, Supernatural style situation I know I wouldn't listen to my boss but at the same time I am very much aware that I'm much more knowledgeable in such things than my boss so Fight each other and fight the. Oh. <laughs> oh God! Stop keeping up. Oh. If there's gonna be a way to deal with this thing or if I just have to work. Oh good god it came upstairs.
I did not think that it would be able to do that. And I really wish I had a way to do it. And I really wish that they would stop spawning. Recently, there have been some alarming changes in behavior and altered effect in two altered items in the Panopticon. The Redacted and the Redacted have become much more aggressive with entirely new effects manifesting for no discernible reason. The items have been investigated for updated containment procedures to counter these new effects, with one successfully discovered to be contained by constant visual contact. But this development is worrying. What if the altered items undergo this behavioral change? We need to find... or what if all? We need to find out why this is happening and what is changing. Handling these altered items has also resulted in numerous Panopticon staff being redacted. I would say they've gone to the astral plane, but these aren't objects of power. Not one of them has come back. This, plus the uptick in astral knots not returning from their dives, has me wondering what the hell is going on. Is anyone looking into this? Is there any plan? Prefer to file redacted. Now, is that up here, or is it below me again? And of course, it decided to switch to come to me, just why we're looking at it. it. just has no reason to. So fucking annoying. I don't get stuff on top. I need to see if there's a way to deal with this. Like, either in this room or if there. Like, if I can lock it behind something. Or if there's potentially a way to deal with it some other way because it's super fucking Here, well, yeah I saw the little red mark there for the alright let's see what we got in this room just going to ignore the enemies until they actually come close enough to make a difference because yeah it's it's a large room with that stupid thing running around it's an annoying room all right in this proposal i'd like to explore the matter of containment policy when an altered item enters oldest house we thoroughly investigate any possible combination of actions or words or material that will prevent the item from applying its own effect However, I work with these entities every day and have, and I have good reason to believe that a less convoluted form of containment is possible. The items crave redacted. If we initiated a series of redacted, praising the items, or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of redacted that could be visited throughout the Bureau, I believe the altered items would behave without needing to resort to redacted or redacted, which only lead to the items feeling mistreated. If we treat them like criminals, we can't be surprised when they try to escape. Interesting. So now the altered items have to heal. Okay. Doesn't seem to be, you know, for an archives, we don't seem to be getting too much information here. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do a quick Google search here. Control, uh, Black Rock Monster. Let's see. Uh, 
Okay, I feel like it's okay. That I don't think that's the thing that it, I was talking about. Uh. Fuck, I don't. Oh, there you go. The astral spike is apparently what it's called. Um. Scene. There we go. Astral spike kill. All right. So yeah, there's just no way to kill them. So it's just one of those annoying fucking enemies that they put. In games, no, get my health back. why they're floating there like that. I mean, this guy cannot hit these dudes out here. But I guess that does make sense. He's using a grenade launcher to try and shoot floating enemies. He should be able to deal with floaters. While we continue to explore the top floor here. Uh, okay, important, but nothing on it apparently. There, there. Yeah, the archives is fairly disappointing, to be honest. I really expected there to be more information to get out of this place. I mean, it is the archives after all. Oh, well, we got a new TV. Oh 
home day. That was, I mean, I was going to say that was a weird one, but they're all weird ones, so. We went in there, on the right, this is where we had the big guy. Okay, let's check the second floor. Wow, it's destroyed most of the rooms here. There's a guy pinned to the wall. Yeah, yeah. They're really... Here's the thing, right? With enemies like this, now that we have levitation, obviously we can get away from it very easily. But, like, there should still be a way to disable it, you know? Like, even if they don't want you to be able to kill it, they should still give you a way to disable it. So that it's, at least for a time, not chasing you. The exact process of how an altered item is born eludes us. We find them in the aftermath of altered world events. They take the form of everyday objects, ever present in our lives, constantly evoked in the thoughts of millions of people, now infused with unpredictable energies. They're altered. The superstitious would call them cursed. Now, are altered items sentient? Not quite. They're often fixated, programmed almost to cause certain events to happen over and over again. While generally less potent than objects of power, they are not able to be controlled. Left unchecked, they, they can be highly dangerous. To study altered items, we contain them in Panopticon. Okay. The exact process Else up here it was a level six clearance door. You would expect there to be a chest in here at least, right? Although I guess it's a level six clearance door in an area where you would get the get the level six clearance, right? Entropic echoes the things I did for my upgrades. I think so. And if so, we've been picking up quite a few of them, so we might be in for a couple upgrades afterwards. So are these astral spike things showing up more and more because like the hiss are trying to get into the astral plane? Or something like because, I mean, the first one was one that we found records indicating that they had brought it out on purpose. Like, that's the one that we managed to trap in the room. Okay, and then I think that's it for this floor, then. Because that should be our dude pinned to the wall. Okay, and then we explored this side. We still need... Wow, it was fucking murdering everything down there. Like, holy hell. There to go through. Seek shelter. 
her. Yeah, no shit. Wow, it seemed to catch up rather quickly there. In the bathroom. Okay, we still got this door over here. Is that the other only door? Just the one bathroom again, eh? Interesting. Alright. Should be safe in here. I wonder if I could trap it in here. Like, in theory, right? I would need to get in here. I mean, to be fair, like, I was, like, inside of it and not... Well, I was gonna say I was inside of it and not really taking too much damage. But to be fair, with the amount of killing it was doing, that, that's weird that that's down here. You know, there is, like, a fuck ton of health on the floor. So it could very well be that it was killing me. But I was also just picking up massive amounts of health at the same time. Well, that's a first. Oh, whatever. Not done yet, eh? God, you know, it, this... The only thing that makes this difficult is the amount of shit that they throw up when they, uh, die. Are we good now? Well, if I... Needed help, I sure got a bunch of it now. It's interesting that they have trap chests. I mean, I thought it was weird that there was two chests in this room, but it also would, wasn't like the first time that I've had two chests close together, so I didn't think too much on it. Alright, well, that seems to be everything in the archives. If there's more, I don't know where it would be. I could theoretically possibly get it trapped in there too, but I imagine that I imagine that it can't go through doors. But who knows? All right, let's. See. How long did exploring the archives take? Ah, that's good enough for a part. All right, so. That is the first two floors, it seems. As long as I can make it to the elevator from here, that should be... No, the elevator isn't here. Because that, because then we can just say that, hey, we've done the first two floors of the Panopticon, and then we can start... Okay, there's the other one. I mean, there's definitely more floors, obviously, to explore here. How much or how useful any of the stuff on them will be, I don't know. But either way, we can we'll continue to explore it next part. Okay. So, check. I think we checked this one, 516. surprise. I mean, these side rooms don't really seem to have a whole lot of them. Alright. So yeah, that's it for levels 1 and 2 of the Panopticon. Well, I guess I should check where the elevator comes up, right? Yeah, because level... Oh, wow. This is a really dark fucking room. 
All right, so next part, we'll head up one more floor. We'll start on level three. I don't know which level the, uh, I guess I should look, eh? On the fourth floor. So next part, we'll probably end with dealing with the fridge. What we'll have to do with it, I don't know, because I'm not entirely sure what, like, because I mean, I imagine when we get there, maybe he'll be dead or something, and then we'll actually have to, like, fight the fridge or some such. But if he blinks, then the fridge will the fridge will deviate. I feel like a, then he had to have at some point blinked, right? But anyway, that'll be it for this part. That's the first two floors of Gnopticon in the archives. Next time we'll deal with floors three and four, probably maybe more. It depends on how much is on the floors and how much trouble the fridge is going to give us. But thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you on Saturday for more.